go check out FIFA Coins Online for some amazing deals on buying coins. Link in the description. Oh my god! Hello guys, Mr. RC1990 here, and this is the Diamond Effect Episode 2, which is going to be Aston Villa. Now, in the centre mid position, we've got the same uh, outline of the team, the Ronaldo, Marcelo, Chiellini, Ogbonna, Piszczek, Blaszczykowski, and Buffon. But if you haven't watched the first episode yet, what we're going to do is we're going to, every episode, change the diamond, which is obviously, as you can see, the centre mid, the two cams, and the striker positions, in a team which we pick, so they all get full green link like a diamond anyway we're going to use aston villa this episode like i said the center mid i chose for this team is barry bannon i looked through a couple of the aston villa players you got likes of delphi could have used here you could have used uh petrov el amdi or something uh, a couple of other players as well but delph's got some really high passing stats 82 passing 71 shooting as well which is quite good Decent pace, decent dribbling, just an all-round solid player. He cost me 24,000 coins. And in the three games I played with this team, he scored two goals. That's pretty impressive, really, for a centre mid. Moving on to our two camps now. We've got Darren Bent, of course, and Gabby Bonlahor. Now, Darren Bent cost me 3,500. Didn't score a goal in the three games I played. And Gabby Bonlahor actually got in a pack quite a while ago. He scored a couple goals in the games I played. But obviously, I can't tell from that because I've already played him in other teams, etc. And the striker we're going to be using in this team is actually Ben Teke. I was going to get the informed Ben Teke, but he's getting price locked like 500, 600k. And I don't really want to be forking out that amount of coins for him when he only really sells around 400 at most, I would say. Not really, 200, not really too sure on that one. So I went with his original one. Still cost me 34k, and he ended up picking up three goals in three games. Now, yeah, that is the diamond, as you can see, the nice little diamond effect in the old green linkage there. So I'm going to run you through some gameplay now. A uh, little question I want to give to you guys, two questions, is... I want to change the back three. I'm not happy with these for some reason. It's not doing well for me. You'll see in the goals. I'll explain it a little bit more. Uh, they make a lot of mistakes and don't really like them that much. As much as I would hope. What three could I have there in place of them? There's a lot of options you can have. They've got to be like that. They've all got to play for like the same club or be the same nationality in the same league. That kind of link. So they link as one or, you know, the green bars, heavy linkage. So leave in the comments what you think about that. And obviously leave in the comments the next team you want to see me do. If we're going by alphabetical order in the Premiership, the next I do believe is Chelsea, which wouldn't be a bad one at all if you want to see me do that one. Be sure to leave that in the comments and I'm going to quickly run you through the gameplay. So yeah. Okay guys, I'm just going to run you through the gameplays I played with this team just now, as you can see. First game, we come up against this guy, and I've just got a quick look at his team. He is currently rocking a pretty good Brazilian, uh, it's a Brazilian team, and then he's got Eto up front. I think they're all getting 9km, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, actually Ronaldinho might not have been, but we'll, anyway, we'll go with that. He's got a pretty, blah, 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 pretty decent team compared to mine. Mine's, no, mine's a solid team, but I've got... Couple of silvers in there, bringing down the old uh, chemistry, uh, not the chemistry, the overall rating. But he gets a nice goal there. That's actually in the 61st minute. Nothing really happened first half at all to really note about. So it took till the 61st minute for him to go off the mark, and that was with Samuel Eto. I just, like I said in before, keep, look at that Chiellini. I don't know what I'm, that's probably my fault more than anything. I think I've just uh, just completely messed up. But I do want to change them. So leave in the comments what you think of them. But straight from kickoff, bit of good play from Agbon Lahore. Some ball rolls using his pace. Gets a little bit lucky here and there. But it falls to Bannon who somehow squeezes through and finishes very, very nicely indeed. Now at the end of the video I'm going to leave um, some little pointers about the team. The best player or the most surprising player and the worst player of the four. And also how much it costs. So I'm going to add that into the end now. But we're getting behind again here with Bannon. Bit of a sweaty cross, but I want to win the game, to be honest. And it's a nice header from Gabby Abonlahor to make it 2-1 in the game. Now, that puts us 2-1 up after 77 minutes, as you can see. Which I think may be enough to win the game. Let's have a quick look. Gets a nice little ball in with his weak foot. And, yeah. It will be enough to win the game. 2-1, we do win that one. So, it's not exactly a comfortable win. I think it was a pretty even match. He had a pretty strong team, though, to be fair. Um, a couple people were leaving in the comments recently that... I've got Ronaldo and I'm not abusing him and stuff like that. This this idea, this series isn't about Ronaldo at all. I've got him left mid because I like 
you know, I like a bit of skill down the left. I like a bit of, I could have used Ribery. I could have used anyone really out before I had Ronaldo. Why not use him in this team? But it's all about the diamond. So a lot of the goals will be about them. Other people may get goals and I'll include that too. But it's not about Ronaldo at all. So get that out of your heads already because that can get annoying but as you can see this guy actually has a very very nice team and he has the inform Ronaldo the 93 version I think I've got the team of the year which is like a nice seven or something along those lines but he was going to abuse him in the left forward position we start off quite early on here with a decent header from a corner from Ben Teke now he's very good at that kind of situation Ben Teke he's very tall I think he's like six foot four um, so he's always going to win a lot of headers, which is is just expected, really. So from corners, he's going to dominate. But as you can see here, sorry, my voice is going. Ronaldo's running down the line. I do a fake shot to come back inside. I'm not 100% sure how that's not a foul. But he gets in behind. He does a little bit of rolling, and then that's gone in somehow. Buffon's not managed to save that. But it's a good goal from him. Fair play. But I just don't understand how that wasn't a free kick to me when I when I did the fake shot back around him. He's obviously blocking me off. But apparently the referee has not seen that and it's not a free kick. So that's a bit of a push take. But what can you do? Nice finish from him off the post. Now he does get in behind again. Meza also plays through Di Maria who's a bit like my kryptonite in this video. As you can see, horrible piece of defending from me. Leads to another pretty simple goal on his behalf. So it's a very good finish from Di Maria. And that actually puts him 2-1 in the lead if we started so well from the corner goal. He has managed to screw us over a little bit. He gets a little bit lucky on some of these goals, to be honest. Di Maria again in behind. Just pace abusing Chiellini. Can't keep up. A good cross there. And apparently Ogbonna, or whoever that is, cannot beat Benzema in the air. Now that irritates the shit out of me. How, how they can just beat me in the air. He was behind him. So frustrating. But that's 3-1 at halftime. So we're getting a little bit dogged in this game. But I don't mind losing. As long as it's fair. But I don't feel as if that Ronaldo goes to the counters. I'm a little bit pissed. But as you can see in the stats, he is dominating me, to be honest. I've only had 45% of the possession. But possession isn't everything. It's all about shots on target. It's all about goals. So we're going to roll into the second half. And he actually starts the second half very well. After the 47th minute, 48th minute, it's going to be. Di Maria makes me look like an absolute fool by turning me. And then finishes very nicely into the corner there with a very strong shot indeed. Now Di Maria is looking like a fantastic player. I haven't actually used him before, but or well, not in any of my main teams. But look at that, he just makes me look like an absolute bell end and does me a treat. But we're not finished. So we put a very nice over the top through board at Bon Lahore. That just sounds disgusting, doesn't it? But a very nice finish by him into the corner. He's not all pace. Unbelievable. I thought when I put him in cam, because I thought Benteke up front would be the better overall target man. And Adi Adi Bayor, sorry, Ag Bon Lahore in Cam would just be a pace abuser but he turned out to be an actual all round good player another goal there by Asachi Ogbonna from the corner so that actually has put it 4-3 now but unfortunately for me that is going to be how it ends as you can see he hoofs the ball away because he was scared that I was going to come back after I was 4-1 down I almost came back but unfortunately didn't quite make it that guy was just too good for me on the day fair play to him I think he's actually a subscriber he left me a message afterwards Say and asking if I was the YouTuber, so maybe he's watching this video. And fair play to you, you won the game. But yeah, I almost came back, and I'm pissed off. But he, yeah, he, fair enough. He dominated a little bit more than I did, so he probably deserved the wins. So that's one win, one loss so far. Three games played. Will we win the last game? You're about to find out. We go into another game here with the same team as you can see. I oh, actually come against this guy who has got, I don't understand why people have two similar coloured shirts, that's so weird, but he has got a very random team, there's a lot of pacey players, a lot of good overall players, no real chemistry, uh, well, well there's a lot of chemistry, but I mean there's no real, none of them's in formation position or anything like that, so he's not 100% sure what he's doing possibly, but a nice little flick over the head there from Ben Teke, gets very lucky on the run through there, the defender messes up and we finish a nice power shot into the corner by him, so he's not all about aerial abuse, he is a very... He's a very solid player, but um, I'm just, I was thinking probably if I got the info, it might have been that tiny bit better, which might have affected him a lot more in the games. So we're getting behind again here. Darren Bent, nice little through ball to Bonlahor, and that's where his pace comes in handy. He just absolutely blitzes past that defender like he wasn't even there and finishes a very similar goal to Ben Tekes just before, right into that corner. Nice little power shot. Look at that. Just absolutely skins in with pace. It is incredible, but that puts us 2 0 up pretty early on in the game. But that is actually all it does. As he won early on his 40th minute. But that puts us through to half time. Where it's 2 0. And we're in control of this game. I've actually got more possession as well, which is very unlike me. 
But yeah, so we're going to go into the second half now and Ronaldo gets the ball on and we just play a nice little over the top through ball to Bannon as we can see running in, flicks it to the side of bang. What a finish that is from Barry Banner. I think he's left third, I'm pretty sure he's left third. So I decided to put that one on his left peg and he smashes it in the corner. Very good finish from him indeed. He turned out to be a really good player. His passing was really good in the midfield. His link-up play was really good. His shots were really good. He just turned out to be a really good all-round player. So if you're looking to get a... A decent, solid holding midfield player or attacking midfield player. He's your man. And Blashikovsky gets in behind here. And a nice little chip over the goalkeeper there to get himself on the score sheet. And he runs off of pitch. You can't even see him anymore. He's gone. Just, just left the building. But, yeah. It's a pretty decent finish. I like scoring chips. I really like scoring chips. It's a really nice goal from him indeed. But that puts us 4-0. And as you can see straight from kickoff, he does get in behind. And the fall I am, I for some reason bring up Buffon again. And he gets done. Great little lob over from Alexis Sanchez doing the Balotelli celebration there. But Buffon, man, quickly off your mark. I was pressing Y for ages and he took time. And yeah, I paid for that. But we get a nice little goal here from Ben Teke again from the corner. Just He's just a powerhouse from the corner. He wins, you know, 9 out of 10 from a corner. If, if not, if he doesn't win it, Ogbonna wins it. So I'm pretty dominant from corners if I get it on the right mark. So that puts us 5-1 up. And the Bonlahor in behind here showing that he's not all paced. Walks around some of his players and finishes a very calm finish into the corner to make it 6-1. I do believe in the 74th minute. So we are rampant in this game. We have, look at this, just a little bit of shuffling in and out play. But slaloming. But yeah, he's not all about pace. I, I just This is poor from Buffon. It's a bit poor from me. I went to actually clear that. I pressed uh, square, not square, sorry, X. Keep thinking I'm on PlayStation. And he passed it right to that guy and then he couldn't even save the shot. He tipped onto the post. I'm really not liking Buffon. That's probably why I want to change that back free. But yeah, that's actually the end of that gameplay, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video so far. I'll just uh, leave you with a little bit of a basic picture now which I've done just on Sony Vegas it's going to say the diamond itself cost 241,500 coins if you were to buy it yourself but obviously because I had Agbon Lahore it was a lot cheaper because obviously I had him in a pack but it'll cost you around 242k if you were to buy it. if you were to buy informed Benteke it would cost you a shit ton more but stick with the normal Benteke if you're going to go with this diamond it's very very good it's very very pacey it's very good at passing only let down probably I was going to say the standout player was Barry Bannon, fantastic centre midfield player. The letdown was Darren Bent. He was just not non-existent. He didn't really do a lot at all. Bonlahor was very pacey, very good on the ball as well. Benteke was decent in the air, but I don't really play down the wings a lot in this team. I like to play in that diamond. That's the whole point of the series, in my opinion. So he could have been better. There'll be better teams to come, I hope. But that's the end of this video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. I'll give this team a 7 out of 10 rating. If you saw my Arsenal one yesterday, that team probably gets an 8 out of 10 rating. I didn't actually rate that team because some people told me to rate the team. So it probably gets a 7 out of 10. It's got room for improvement. A couple, of, Maybe if I use a couple of different players, it might have been better. But that's the end of this video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Do leave it a like if you have. See if I can get 500 likes. That would be insane. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again next time. So bye-bye.